Hello all, welcome to eDraw Max. Let's begin with understanding what a fishbone diagram is. A fishbone diagram, also known as a cause and effect diagram, is used to identify the main causes of a problem in an organization or system. Now let's learn more about the fishbone diagram by exploring eDraw Max. Navigate to File, select New, and then select Business from the list. Now click on the Quality Management option and then choose Cause and Effect Diagram to draw any fishbone diagram. There you will find various templates of fishbone diagrams to draw based on your requirements to explore the potential causes and effects. Click on the plus icon to open a new drawing sheet. Cause and Effect symbols from the library let you draw fishbone diagrams quickly and easily. As you can see here, problems are visualized as the fish's head and the causes as fishbones. Now let's learn when to use the fishbone diagram. To improve problem solving in common and keep focusing on those issues. To analyze a complex problem with many causes. When you need a different point of view to look at a problem. To identify possible root causes for an effect or a problem. To uncover bottlenecks and identify issues where and why a process doesn't work. To accelerate the thinking process when traditional ways of problem solving are time consuming and as a great mind motivator to attack complex problems and uncover creative approaches. Typical examples are how to solve manufacturing problems and applying it to the seven basic tools of quality methodology. Now let's learn how to make a fishbone diagram. Drag and drop the effect symbol from the library to define the problem statement. You first need to identify the problem area that needs to be analyzed and how it occurred. Here we'll use the example of inability to meet project deadlines on the fish head facing to the right. You need to be very specific about the problem that you're facing as this forms the basis of your analysis. If you identify the wrong problem, then the analysis also tends to be wrong. Now the causes extend to the left. Identify main root causes. From the library, draw the ribs branching off the backbone for major causes with sub-branches for root causes to as many levels as required. People or staff are one of the main causes for this particular problem. You will need to do a lot of brainstorming to come up with as many reasons as you possibly can. Planning also plays a major role in causing the inability to meet the deadlines. Many external factors are also responsible for hindering progress towards deadlines followed by the financial causes. Here the fishbone diagram displays multiple causes ordered logically in a visual manner, making it helpful to explore and understand how they fit together holistically. Now, list out the root causes of the main causes. Once you have your main root causes, it's time to brainstorm and list out all of the individual causes for each main issue. These become the bones of the fish, which you can use as a basis for diagnosing the root cause of your problem. Write down actions and responsibilities and what steps you can take to mitigate your problem. It helps to establish deadlines and assign tasks to your team members. This template can work as a cause and effect diagram that sheds light on a problem and brings insights. Analyze the diagram. Instead of identifying the causes of a problem independently, a fishbone diagram enables the team to focus on working together, analyzing, and prioritizing different possibilities until they land on the root cause. Now let's see more examples of fishbone diagrams. This is a 7Ps model fishbone diagram. Here's a COVID-19 in the Philippines fishbone diagram. A 
live a healthy life fishbone diagram, and an ozone depletion fishbone diagram. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more eDrawMax videos. Please find the link in the description below to try eDrawMax online or to download the software.